Suji has been holding large-scale distributions in Nepal for quake survivors in the past few days. On May 12th, volunteers held another aid distribution, this time in front of Bhaktapur's city hall, where over 2,000 disaster survivors came to receive their relief supplies. Early in the morning, Suji volunteers, the Nepalite government, military and local residents worked together to decorate the aid distribution venue. As Suji's disaster relief and medical team banner is erected, the distribution site is slowly coming together. Six trucks arrive at the site, one holding cooking oil and beans, the rest filled with rice. The Suji relief packs containing towels, toothpaste and other daily necessities are first assembled in back the poor city hall's basement, then relayed to the distribution site by local residents. Beside the crumbled brick wall, the aid distribution starts. Soaked in sweat, local residents help one another. I'm very happy that someone has come to help us. In the future, when I get a job and have recovered from this, I want to help the less fortunate too. Having traveled thousands of miles, Suji volunteers hope their love and care will shine brightly against the anguish the survivors have felt since the quake. Hugging is natural. Everyone here is rejoicing once more. The greeting Namaste is often heard throughout the distribution side. Namaste. Namaste. For these quake survivors, hearing Namaste brings about a sense of stability in such uncertain times. Meanwhile, during the distribution, recipients wait patiently for their turn, while volunteers check and double-check their identity. <laughs> Discovering that Rina and her son walked over 20 minutes to the distribution site, Tu Bing Shu took it upon himself to help the mother and son pair carry the heavy rice home. For the survivors, our little gestures might be a big help. For us, it's not a big deal to do these things, but these small efforts are much appreciated by them. Rina's house was destroyed in the April 25th earthquake, so currently her family of six is staying at her mother's. The aid she's received from Tsuji will last the entire family an entire month. Thank you, Tsuji. With aid supplies and emotional support from Tsuji, residents in Nepal are well on their way to recovering from the devastation caused by the quake.